Infosys has unveiled its latest algorithm for a corporate comeback. The Bengaluru-based Vemoth, India's second largest technology outsourcing company, is urging its workforce to embrace the return of the office routine, sounding the bell for a productivity push with a three days a week at office mandate. Yes, you heard it right. Infosys is decoding the binary of remote work, calling its employees to bid adieu to the comfort of working from home and step back into the buzzing hive of office camaraderie. Now, gone are the days of pandemic perks. The three-year work-from-home saga has run its course, according to the email from Vertical Heads at Enforces. Now, unless there are medical reasons to justify remote work, employees are expected to make a return to the physical workspace. But Enforces isn't dancing solo in this choreography of corporate companies. Across the tech landscape, companies like Wipro are orchestrating similar moves, warning of consequences for those who defy the hybrid work policy, while Tata Consultancy Services is also stepping into the rhythm of a normalized office routine. Now, the IT sector is clearly signaling a collective back-to-cubicles call, ushering in a post-pandemic era that's anything but business as usual. In short, it's time for work-from-home warriors to unplug from the comfort of your home offices. Whether the workforce is ready to embrace this symphony of clicking keyboards and humming printers is something we'll have to wait and see. To understand what they really think about this move and essentially, of course, what it also means in the larger aspect of things for employees as well. Let me go across to my guests, Sanjay Ghare, CEO, Volvo Tech, Amrish Ranjan, Executive Director, Assort, and Kishore Subramaniam, financial expert. Good evening, all of you. Thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us here. Sanjay, let me begin with you. What do you really make of this? What is your take and stance over the same? everyone uh, so you know uh, and this has been going on you know of course infosys joining this now kind of made it uh, into discussions uh, and in principle you know i think this is uh, important to work from home how to do it you know can be always debated uh, but if you uh, and there can be exceptions for everything there can be medical reasons there can be unavoidable reasons so we all have learned in the pandemic that work from home works. So if there is a need, exception can be you know made. Mm. But beyond the exceptions, I think there are three fundamental reasons you know I see uh, why people need to work from office. First is of course when you are together, there is a productivity, there is uh, uh, better communication, better support. So productivity. Uh, really goes up when you're working from office. Second is, you know, when you work from home, you know, you are kind of at the same place and everything gets mm. mixed. When you actually like 15 or 20 minutes, take a drive or, you know, uh, take a cab and go to office, there's a psychological switch between the home and uh, office. In my opinion, working from office help you in having having a better mind and better, uh, you know, attention at home when you are really at home. You're not mixing things. And third important thing is, we all are humans. Uh, you know, we need support. We need to learn from each other. Uh, if when there is a firefighting in the corporate world, uh, working from home remotely puts you in pressure. Where if you're working with your team, you feel supported. At the same time, when you start working okay. for a company, you can still achieve what you really need to learn to do your job in a remote world. But you cannot learn things which you can learn being in office, just observing the leaders, just observing your colleagues. All that opportunity is gone and it becomes very monotonous and very transactional. Uh, so in my opinion, I know uh, there is a resistance. Like Infosys said, people haven't responded to them earlier. They're not very happy about it. While all that is keep, I think once people who are not yet in office start coming to office, they will appreciate this, of course, given the exceptions. 
All right, okay, but essentially you believe, you know, working in office will add to a different sort of culture and probably absorption of uh, roles as well would be better. So you believe that this is um, better off rather than working from home. We'll, of course, get talking about your other opinions as well. But let me go across to Amrish. Amrish, with the emphasis on in-person presence and collaboration, how do industry experts view the balance between remote work flexibility and the perceived need for increased productivity? Because all along there's this one word, you know, how do you really um, you know, check productivity through longer hours, as suggested also by Narayan Murthy? Uh, thank you so much, Nevedana. Uh, good evening to the other panels, uh, uh, panelists as well. Uh, I think it's a, it's a very valid question because after COVID, a lot of people are used to working from home. And to be honest with you, it's it's a sense of entitlement mm. as well, especially with the IT industry. And I'm being very, very blunt and frank about it because, uh, you know, there are many other departments who cannot work from home. Can an admin guy who's taking care of the whole building uh, work from home? Can a guard work from home? Can a maids who come to our house and, and do all the, you know, house household chores, can they work from home? No, they can't. Uh, coming to the corporate world, first of all, uh, for me, uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy is a corporate god, right? We've all followed him, learned a lot from him mm. over the years, and a lot of you know uh, work culture ethics have been uh, you know picked up from companies like Infosys. And uh, for me, uh, for me, the credibility of Mr. Narayan Murthy on pushing this point is also a big factor because from his experience we can we can clearly see that yes uh, it is a factor in, in if it's a factor in a company like infosys it definitely is a factor in you know in a, in a lot smaller scale companies and companies of different nature uh, for example we are an e-commerce company our complete business is online uh, it is the backbone so we have a fairly good IT team, but at the same time, we have a distribution network as well. So there's a sales team, there's a customer care team, you know, uh, and we were, in fact, the first ones to, uh, in, in our area in Gurgaon, our offices in Gurgaon, we were, in fact, one of the first ones to take this decision to uh, call people to office, especially who all can come to office and not you know, skeptical coming to office after COVID. Uh, and we did see productivity go up. Let me be very honest about it. Uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, were complaining okay. about the service standards that we had pre-COVID and which slightly lapsed during COVID. And once we took a decision that especially, you know, the services team, which are interacting with the customers or providing other services to the customers like the logistics or the warehouse team, they can't be working from home. They have to come to office. They have to go to their workplaces to do what they had to do to ensure that the customer doesn't suffer. So I can see where uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy is coming from. I think uh, Infosys is also a primarily IT service-based company. And uh, definitely the productivity uh, does get impacted when it comes to, you know, uh, a lot of other departments. Uh, I, can, I, can, uh, I can also, you know, to balance it out, I can also say that, yes, it also depends on the kind of roles people have. And the kind of, you know, individual professional True. credibility that an individual has. Because uh, while we started and made it a mandate that everybody has to come to office, we did uh, we did give uh, uh, some leeway to a few people who could have worked from home for various other reasons. Now, in fact, we have a policy now that you can work from home for five days in a month, uh, provided you, you know, you take you take an approval beforehand. So it has to be balanced out. Uh, it's, it's a culture that has to be developed over a period of time. And since people are used to work from home and, uh, you know, one of the, I, I would call it uh, maybe, uh, you know, byproduct of COVID that we got to know such a thing, work from home, that uh, people can utilize this aspect as well. Not, and and not, uh, not as a, you know, benefit, but, for a better work-life balance, okay. in, especially in today's stressful corporate world. Uh, we've all gone through this journey. We've, we've seen the stress. We've seen how people can I mean, uh, really break because of you know, work pressures. So we as an organization, I can speak for us now, that we as an organization are using it for work-life balance rather than uh, you know, giving it as a benefit or a perk to our employees. 
All right, right, okay. So essentially, there are, of course, certain loopholes in terms of the roles, but you also say that, you know, there are two ways to be looking at this, and fair enough. But Kishore, uh, coming to you, what do you make of this? We, of course, heard what uh, Sanjay as well as Amrish had to say. Um, you know, first, of course, your take, and also with how do financial experts anticipate these changes affecting the operational cost of IT companies? Also, considering the potential expenses associated with maintaining office spaces and so on. Be sure if you can hear me. All right, we'll try. Uh, connecting uh, with Kishore to find out his perspective as far as yeah. this is concerned. Uh, yeah. But Sarah, coming to you in the context of the broader global IT landscape as well, how do you anticipate these policy changes influencing the competitive positioning of Indian IT firms, both in terms of market perception and the ability to meet evolving client demands per se? Yeah, absolutely. So I think, you know, uh, as, as I said, two things, right? Uh, first is, you know, we talked about productivity. Second, I talked about the, uh, you know, switch and the support. But, you know, if you look at in a global perspective, IT in India, probably when it started, it was more of a service industry. Today, the landscape has changed and India in IT became more of a, a product. Uh, IT. There are so many product IT, you know, product companies, which are coming up, becoming unicorn from an IT standpoint. The work which is done in the services companies also is really uh, becoming and improving from a quality standpoint. And with all that, what is required in IT companies is a quality of a work and not a quantity, just a quantity of work. And with that, you know, that's how I, okay. uh, I will map this back with this work from office thing is, it is not about, you know, you say uh, two hours of drive and work from home and, you know, work for two, two more hours. It's not really about stretching your hours. It's okay, seven, eight hours a day, you work for that much, but you work in the right environment. You work in the right ecosystem where you can really produce and deliver better. It is more of a, a quality versus quantity uh, because the lot of cheaper IT services also move to other countries as well. And India is really coming up as a more as a quality and product uh, centric, you know, uh, IT uh, from IT standpoint. So in, in my opinion, now it is very important to focus all of us as a quality. And given that what Infosys has done will only, you know, continue. And if you look at it, right, Elon Musk also said, uh, the same thing, uh, you know, which our other panelist was trying to bring in. True. Uh, it, you know, it can be looked as a privilege to a tech company because others cannot do it. Uh, but in my opinion, that privilege is uh, harmful to IT people only. Uh, so looking at all the global landscape and what is required, I think this has to change. There can be flexibility as an exception when needed. Uh, but it it has to go towards more and more work okay. from home. And I think it will go only that way from here. All right. Okay, Sanjay, so essentially, of course, the way you anticipate for it to work out is one aspect of it, but let's try and get in Kishore as well. Kishore, um, your opinion as well as to where you stand with this, uh, whether, it, whether it's a good move or not, and also essentially trying to find out from you, um, the question that was also put forward to Sanjay as to how do financial experts anticipate these changes affecting the operational costs of IT companies also, considering the potential expenses that are associated with probably maintaining office spaces or transport services, larger scheme of things, of course, logistics. Okay. Uh, so first, let me uh, give my fair point. The first point is that work needs, has a place. Everything has a place. For example, I would not like to work from home because the first question that my wife is going to ask me is that you first work mm. at home and then you talk about working from home. So uh, jokes apart, on a serious note, I think mm. everything has a place and the seriousness of working as a culture definitely is improved and there is an attention span that is far better when you're working in an environment where everybody else is probably aligned to the same cause. See, working from home has a lot of challenges. Okay. Now look at it as challenges from two points. 
One, the worker himself, because he has got too many distractions at home, despite the fact of the matter, he may be an individual or with a family or whatever, the setup. The second point is, from an organizational point of view, in case I'm working with you and I want to come across your desk and give you some instruction, talk to you, clarify something, it takes two seconds. But remember, if you're working from a remote location, I'd have to call you, I'll have to connect you on a Zoom or whatever. So there is a there is an operational issue in terms of lack of time, productivity, and people generally out of sight is out of mind. There is a lag in productivity. You always tend to do that later in case somebody is not there. So this is my fundamental point that if it is work, it's always better to have it from office. Considering the other panelist's opinion that can we give exceptions? Absolutely, yes. Mm. For example, if somebody is doing secretarial services or just admin services where there is data entry, working from home is perfectly all right. But for all domains, you can't be fair across that. As somebody said, you know, a watchman cannot work, a maid cannot work. There are so many professions. For example, your own profession is an anchor. You can't work from home. It just literally doesn't work. I had met Mr. Narayana Murthy on this note. I would like to chair about 10 years back in the airport and had a free and frank chat for about 25 minutes when both of us were boarding a flight to Bangalore. And we and he had very strong opinions about the same. Though Those were not the days when there was work from home culture. But he was talking about the fact of the matter that in India, what is, what is promotion? You know, somebody was just stamping the ticket on for the whole day and he asked that fellow, now, don't you feel bored? He said, I've been promoted earlier. I used to stand, now I'm sitting. So this is the kind of concepts and mindset we Indians generally have, not to demean ourselves by any standard, but let me tell you, I'm an entrepreneur. I run an organization. I know that once you give a leeway, it's going to be an eternal leeway. Look at the fact, people working in top-notch corporates like Infosys protesting that they won't come to office. The fundamental nature of your employment is that you are working. And when you are working, you have to come to office fundamental. It's like saying that I'll get married and have a family, but I won't go home. It doesn't work. It's a simple, straightforward thing. If, it's, if it is office and the office demands you have to be present, whether it is a physical presence or any location, you are bound legally, morally, and I think conceptually. Let's not fundamentally break this point. Working from home is an alternative at certain points. During COVID, absolutely fine. Okay. On a normal day, absolutely no until and unless it is an emergency or an exception. But remember, exceptions can't become the rule. Answering to the last point you asked about the financial impact, there is a huge cost involved to operate from home because you're talking of, of laptops that needs to be taken home, you're talking of security, you're talking of internet, you're talking of additional measures of audit, because if I'm working from home, you need to have a team which is to audit my productivity. And that becomes extremely difficult because you're now controlling multiple people at multiple locations on multiple time zones. That's a pain point. I don't think so. Organizations deserve this after paying the due salaries and whatever due to whoever in whatever agreed form. All right. Okay, Kishore, as you, uh, you know, have your own perspective as to how this would probably not uh, be uh, in terms of why people shouldn't be working from home and rather productivity. That is one word that has come up multiple times. And we're talking about Narayan Murthy here as well, who also spoke about the call for 70 hour work weeks uh, to enhance productivity. But let's try and understand from your perspective, Kishore, what role do you see industry leaders playing in shaping a narrative around sustainable work practices? In fact, how can companies prioritize employee well-being? Because this is something also that probably most employees have understood the work-life balance which came into conversation while pursuing ambitious business goals as well, Kishore. Overall, how do you look at that? Okay, uh, let me first get into that quip that Narayan made about the 70 hour uh, uh, a week. Let me very clearly understand that Narayan Murthy did not put it as a national rule or something in the constitution. He was just giving a ballpark figure that 70 hours if you work. See, we are on an economic highway. Let's understand that if India has to grow at some pace, let's say I'm competing with you on any parameter and you are walking at, let's say, 10 kilometers an hour and I walk at five, you're going to beat me. It's a simple rule. So the simple point he tried to say that your neighbor in the north China is working at about 50 to 70 hours a week. If you really want to compete at a pace faster and beat them, then you jolly well work. Now, it is not a rule. There are so many internet trolls who have gone behind him saying that, how can you say, can we sacrifice our family? Boss, this is not a rule. He is giving a guideline principle under which we can operate. You can choose to work 30 hours, 40 hours. 
But let me tell you one more important thing. Before we even talk about 70, 700, 60, whatever hours, let's talk about the number of hours when people are present mm -hmm. and actually instructed. Because the average stat says that an average Indian who has a smartphone spends about three or 22 minutes every day on social media. So imagine if he's sleeping for eight hours, that's 11 hours gone, eating, sleeping, and all the other works another three hours. So productivity is gone for a six. So let's first talk about the fact that he was talking of a thumb rule. If you really want to make it bigger and better, it's your personal choice. It's not that it is a thumb rule or something implemented as a law. If I was an organization head, which I am, I would request my employees to put in their best foot forward. It is not in the interest of the organization or the nation or the society, but it is in the interest of you as well. The faster you put in your effort, the more you put in your effort, the faster the country and you yourself can grow. All right, okay. So you're essentially trying to say that that was just an opinion, of course, like of what Narayan Murthy did state, but it did state a lot of, uh, or rather did give rise to a lot of controversial opinions as well but before we wrap up i'm afraid we're short of time but amrish i do see you have uh, you want to make a point and amrish is also coming to you quickly if you could tell us you know companies will also of course fend for themselves employees at the end of the day also want to um, look at what works for them best interest as well and fair enough exactly and uh, and let me just uh, elaborate on what uh, uh, mr subramaniam just quoted about uh, narayan murthy's statement about 70 hour a week and that was primarily for the young people who are just starting off their career. And whosoever is starting off mm. their career and they're young, their body can take that stress. Obviously, he's, he's, he's not, you know, that statement wasn't meant for 50 year or 55 year olds because they've already had that experience. They've already put in that hard work. I think he was he was highlighting to the young generation who who've just started off their career. And, and there's nothing wrong in it. I mean, if at that age, you're not focused, you're not ready to work hard, I'm sorry, you won't make it big. It's as simple as that. And, and, and coming back to your question around, you know, the, the, uh, the employee welfare and everything. So, uh, as I said previously, I mean, this is something that can be used as a tool, uh, not as a reward or a benefit tool, but as a, as a work balance, you know, uh, work-life balance tool wherein there would be people who, who, who would have issues, who would have problems, and they won't be able to make it to office. Uh, for example, if, if, if there is, you know, a natural, uh, not, not exactly a disaster or, you know, heavy rain or, or, you know, there's something which is stopping people from coming to office, the organizations quickly switch to, you know, work from home. Okay, please work from home then. And, and so would Infosys also. And so would... And, and so would Narayan Murthy would also say the same thing. Okay, work from home because there's a traffic jam or because there's a you know heavy rain. So it should be used as a tool. It should not be mandated and it should not, people should not be allowed to misuse it because it's only the IT industry that can actually, you know, utilize it to the fullest. There are many other industries, many other professionals who have, you know, uh, different nature of work. They won't be able to utilize it. You know, Amrish, although you're making significant IT, points, you know, I'm afraid I'd have to interject you there because we're running short of time. But I appreciate yeah. you, Kishore, as well as Sanjay for uh, yeah. joining us on the show this evening and sharing with us your perspective. Of course, it's uh, left to viewers to have their own point of view as to whether they give the work from home a thumbs up or work from office. But we leave the conversation at that. Thank you very much once again. Mr. A quick break here on News at 7.